Good morning. Welcome to the breakfast show. And today with another episode, Trade with Trade VSA. And we all know on Friday for our breakfast show, you'll be focusing using the tools that is produced by our team and our sort of coaches, our VSA 360 to come to you with what is the hot sector that you want to be in and what are the sector you want to avoid. Now, we all know last night, the US NASDAQ and Dow Jones has a bad uh, day as the market opened up higher but towards the end right end up with a one percent loss that we've seen and this is something that is pointing to many of the public out there are very fearing that is this the market crash that everybody is working and this is usually the threshold where many of us who are unknown about the level of correction as also level the difference between correction and crash and that's what causing many of the unsuspected or unskilled investor and trader to panic but guess what this is the time i would be actually buying and there's many many of this opportunity around in here no doubt we all know uh the interest rate hike regime which is happening right now now in US is causing a lot of this correction that we are seeing and yet Malaysia today confirm on the uh, CEO edge that there would not be any interest rate hike this round but who knows that we are going on because as economists are predicting three to four economies uh, sorry uh, interest rate hike but yet to be seen uh, generally our market in here may not raise interest rate as fast as US does is because raising interest rate will definitely cost the uh, cost of doing business in Malaysia and also don't take note that the property sector will be uh, affected on this. Now let's take a look what we have for you this morning in our VSA 360 that we have. So you can just look up on the slide here and uh, of course the trade VSA is something that we launched uh, uh, late last year and it is our three uh, VSA 360 dashboard. Now, some of our member who is who is listening now are definitely using it. And those of you are not, I think that is a lot of great benefit in here. We have our stock screener, we have our VSA indicator, stock comparison, FA stock analysis for those of you who like fundamental analysis, stock rating for our smart Roby rating, also our intraday alert, which is especially for our masterclass and our sector screener and our usual weekly training. And it can solve some of these questions that many of you have. Is it time to buy? Uh, is it time to sell? And what stock? What's the FA like? And is it safe to buy some more? Or should I just stay out in the market? And those are the four criteria that we want to uh, look at. But of course, looking at the hot sector, which is hot, what is the market leader we've seen before? And this is usually uh, pinned by whatever that sentiment that we're seeing now. It is definitely the interest rate hike. And that's all we know that whenever interest rate hike is predominantly in the news, a lot of the technology stock, which had a good run, in year 2021 is actually going through some sort of correction and to me that seems to be good because i'm looking to buy in this market of course i have to wait for the right setup like what we shared in our volume spread analysis courses and also uh, the many of our tutorial that you've seen at 9 30 by my fellow colleague coach arif as well as my senior trainer zach in here so what are the market leaders we'll be looking at that and also what is the watch list in play and we are still looking at here now that's something that we want to cover in this short uh, half an hour but let's take a look at what we have in our v vsa 360 in our alert center this morning here all right let's bring out the our vsa 360 here so you can see this is our 360 and now uh, once you log in and on the top right hand side you can see there's a dashboard that takes you to where we are and this is the uh daily things that you want to look at right now the KLCI seems to be unchanged uh, Singapore is down five uh, points the Dow Jones is down 300 points which is close to about a uh, minus 0.9 percent now remember Dow was opened up higher and then went through a selling and Hang Seng still going through that uh, half a, uh, almost half a percent selling in here and you can see the KLCI right now in here is red pentagon in here so that's why we are seeing this in here but take note we already have one two three four four down bar eh? and likely we have some sort of a turning point of reversal very soon and definitely if you look at here right this is the important chart that's top of me my head here is let me just open it up here for you you can see it 
and this very nice chart did share with you about our foreign fund flow you can see right now foreign funds are actually buying in here all right they're buying in here and even yesterday 20th they continue to buy about minus 50 in here i do think that there will be some sort of a sustain we will not see the major sell-off like we had here previously where we have the uh, what we call this rate outflow uh, the rate outflow of foreign fund right now the foreign fund is coming in here so this is actually a very good place to buy pullback and i do know uh, from what I've understand, the foreign fund has been buying Inari, Press Metals, and uh, Public Bank. Okay, so those are the three major shares that are, uh, foreign funds are really looking into. And let's go back to where we have here. And of course, the sector in play. Uh, this is the important one that we can see. Energy, it's increasing. And we have plantation is increasing to finance compared to last week, industrial products and so forth. All right. But take note the trend has certainly turned downwards and we can switch on to here we can definitely see up above me here and switching it that you will see the only one that is still green pentagon okay green pentagon is only energy sectors and we have seen the energy sector continue to move higher like what we saw also on the u.s sector in your switch over to uso on trading wheel and you can see some of these trends that you see so right now it has been seen green pentagon for the last 24 days so the chaos energy you can see here nice big moves this is where you're able to catch some of the bigger fish that you can see here all right and uh, the other sectors everything else has already turned red pentagon right these are let's take a look uh plantation you can see last week right but you can see already turned red pentagon okay red pentagon in here not so good what else we have also property also turned red pentagon yesterday what else we have industrial product also turned red pentagon in here all these are very recent on the 17th of january on the 19th of january they all turned red pentagon in here and the longest that's a sector you want to avoid for the time being, but it does represent an opportunity to buy. But again, we have to wait for the red uh, green pentagon to come in. You can see since the red pentagon, the market been selling on picking it right here and down, down, down all the way uh, in here. So that would probably save us some sort of uh, 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 exit and uh, avoided some of the big sell off they've had. But to those of you who are longer term, I do see that is buying opportunity in any of these rates. Why? It's because we are seeing foreign funds are coming in here. As I said before, they are buying very selective market leader. And I do think many of our audience in here who is listening should also look into that. Now, early on, we did talk about the alert. All right. And let's take a look at our morning alert that you can see up here. Click on that one. You can see Kosan has turned red pentagon the high value liquid share these are very high turnover and we got Kosan, mr diy but d sonic turned green pentagon is there some project coming on in here let's take a look at deep uh d sonic and it's rated one in here been still losing money but analyst has it at one ringgit which is about 140 seven percent uh, uh return in here so you can see this is on third of january bmb and right now it's could this be because of the analyst pick or analyst recommendation that you can see 147 percent upside with the target price at 105 but right now it's only at 40 over cents and from the right base you can see from the chart here this does give you a good good entry level in the green pentagon in here that seems to be good all right and if you look back at the monthly return right you can see uh last year wasn't a great year you can see the seasonality but so far it's been up 4.8 percent here could this be a year of a turnaround for the sonic okay and let's look at some of the other and let's look at the fundamental standpoint you can see the fundamental standpoint d sonic is one here that doesn't have remember d sonic hasn't made money yet it's still in a negative territory of course some of these things you can really want to look at you can always go and look at the financial right the financial just on top click on that financial and you can see the four-year trend click on that one that will take you to our trading view screen all right you just wait for this to come and that will give you some sort of prognosis how well is the trend is doing so you can see from here uh income statement uh income statement here you can see 
it hasn't been sort of a trend and also margin going up. Is this going to be a turnaround? And income again, looks like yes. Second quarter of 2021, there is a 3.5% margin upside in here. Maybe this is a turnaround question. Uh, let's look at also the uh, cash flows. Okay, cash flows, you can see we are in the free cash flows. is still not that positive yet, but it's still a negative cash flow outflow. So this could be just an early kind of uh, trade that you can see right now. Of course, statistically, you can also look at the uh, PE is very, very expensive, right? 196, that is the forecast, but it is uh, uh, making losses and maybe just starting to turn uh, positive. All right, let's exit from here and let's take a look at the chart wise. Okay, let's go back. And you can see right now, this is a green pentagon here. All right, so that seems to be good. So a uh, possible trade, more than anything else, with the target price, early target price of 4.6%, right? A short term, uh, a first target, target profit 4.6 and 4.9 for in here. You do have the uh, stop loss at 039, which is a down about 8% uh, from where it is right now, okay? So that would be a very simple way of looking into the thing, yeah? So these are like fallen to oversold area, which is the uh, level in here that they talk about, which is 3rd of January, and uh, oversold area will probably be around here. And that's why now the market is making upward, all right? So that's first one, and uh, let's take a look at the others right in here so only this sonic so also i suggest some of the members to take a look at this every morning to see what are those already have a feel of what is already turned green pentagon what has turned red pentagon and we all know the overall klci has already turned red pentagon too so that means it is likely to be a downtrend or sideways market you can see star has turned rgt solution Hyaptek, jack gdb kub Press Metal, Yin Soon, DG, LHA, GCB, everything has turned red. But there is something good in the horizon which we found out is revenue. All right, it's revenue here. And you can go on to revenue, which I will talk about it shortly. And that's the one has turned green Pentagon, right? That was the one has turned green bond. So I want the audience to be aware of this uh, manner that we have. All right, so check out the alert and let's move on to the overall VSA 360, just a schematic chart I want to share with the audience in here are the things that we usually do in the morning. We have looked at the KLCI in here uh, just to see whether we should be in or out, how well we want to position ourselves rotating out, and what are the sectors that we just talked about in here. We, the sectors we want to avoid is technology and the sector we want to still maintain is likely to be in the energy sector. And everything else we just noticed has already turned red pentagon. Of course, we also have the uh, specialized training, advanced training that we have in our advanced screener. And not to forget for our casual trader, just, just beside my ear here is the alert center, which we check it out in here. And not to forget for those of you, we, we just quickly look at uh, the Sonic for the fundamentals needs for W where they say this is a good stock to have and also analyst target profit and a couple of news stock comparison and show me the money, which generally look at if you have hold this share for the last six years, how much would you have, you have gained for that one, all right? So, and uh, let's talk about the top three things you want to know about this morning in here, the overall KLICI. Now we all know the overall KLCI has turned from green to red Pentagon. We all know that just now, right? And uh, that's one you can also check out, Roby. The sector in play right now, we can see energy is still in green Pentagon for the last 24 days, but plantation and finance has turned red Pentagon. So which means many of those shares that we talk about and switching back to the dashboard here, right? You will see a lot of them already turn red pentagon all right so once it turned red pentagon meaning right it's likely to slide sideways so the likelihood for it to continue to move up will diminish in here and partly this is because of the news that we talk about there is no interest rate hike likely on that subject in here so we can see this market going up technology continue to worsen 
and it has been uh, 10 days ago. So generally what we have felt that usually when the market go to a bad period of slump, now remember this is just a correction, there'll be a period the market turn back up. So keep in mind. So that's why we are looking at the days in important. Energy has been up 24 days. So this is also taking a cue from the US sector, the energy sector. So keep in mind, anything that turn worse, they will eventually turn back green very, very soon. And that is the area you want to be buying buying on dips inside here now what stock is in green pentagon just now we just check it out just two in there d sonic and revenue and what's not as we have seen many in our alert center has turned red pentagon and many of the sectors if you have seen before other than energy sectors many of them already turned red pentagon so that also telling you this market will continue to dip lower rather than higher i don't want to paint a pessimistic job but that's what's happening right now so you can see here Everything red, 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 all the way <laughs> with only energy sectors. So if you keep this in mind, then you will know what are the stock likely to go higher or likely to move sideways or move down by understanding this KLC sector too. And we also have the US market. Now let's take a look at our watch list from uh, for episode 8 today compared to episode 7, right? And I'm going to bring up the uh, trading, uh, the smart Roby incorporating that. So we will take out the uh, uh, dialogue because dialogue has turned red pentagon and uh, add on to Dayang because Dayang was the stock that was added in by uh, my fellow uh, coach uh, Zach earlier on that uh, Dayang is still a very nice uh, turn up and if the energy sector continue to go up hibiscus Dayang will do pretty well and dialogue has already turned red pentagon the Hong Leong banks the MBSB those are the next two shares you have to be very careful all right so let's take a look at the those shares that we have and uh, switching back to the yeah switching to this so let's take a look this is dialogue as i said before has already turned red pentagon and it's breaking into the uh the atr stop loss so next we have is uh hong leong bank so hong leong bank is also dropping right because of the negative interest rate. so you can see why the banking sector has also turned uh, red pentagon and the other one is mbsb okay still holding up you got a two bar reversal in here so depending what stock you have so this one is holding up up four percent a sell-off in here will we see hong leong bank going to a minor correction and remember for those of you who want to trade a stage two share these are what we call a stage two shares in here and the pullback are actually a good area to be buying right now okay good area to be buying if you are bullish on the uh, finance sector in here okay so that's what uh, where we're having so uh, let's bring up the okay and right now we have MBSB dialogue so we're gonna take out dialogue here so we're gonna remove that right and we're gonna add in revenue so you can see we have added revenue up here which is up all right uh three uh up to 157 of course our real time chart revenue would have shown you it's actually moving up nicer in here so something that you want to uh, take note of and you can see revenue 163 so that's a good one green pentagon in here a nice follow through and uh, the other one was d sonic d sonic is just holding up the level in here hasn't uh okay so this is what we've seen so far okay and uh, let's go back to revenue and um, some people may be asking why revenue is moving up and i do think this is partly have to do with the digital bank license okay and uh, the bank naga has said before they will be issuing the digital bank license in the first quarter of 2022 is this a a clue what good news to be coming right so be aware of all this maybe look for good trade setup during intraday or daily trade if you like this kind of stocks but definitely we have green pentagon in here and uh, having said that this stock has fallen a fair bit and uh, risk may be lower so keep in mind and you may want to take profit around this level in here or very simply just go over to the revenue and check out where are the target price that we can use of so you can see from here target price 157 okay which already hit already the other one is 180 which is up about 11 percent 
180 at that level in here and stop loss is about 134 and like it or not uh, 23rd of November uh, the Hong Leong group has a target price of two ringgit and 20 cents okay that is about almost a 40 percent upside for for that one so right now it's up 6.58 here up to 162 okay 162 here that is the latest price that we have and uh, if I just refresh this again okay switching back to the okay yep six one six two two so you can see from here uh, this is also one six two last is uh, six five eight one six two and of course right now we can see whenever you see bold and underlying that's the one just turned uh, green pentagon so hibiscus still green hong long is still green dialogue has turned red pentagon and mbsb is still green pentagon so so that's the one that we want to remove first uh, we delete this out yes and uh, going back and refresh it again and you can see the watch list 7 in here oh it's not coming out in here but we will look into that shortly okay so uh, that could be just a cage and uh, let's move on to our next session here it's our tonight's talk our final talk for the three series that we are finding certainty in uncertain market here so join me tonight on 9 30 for another topic compound your income with intraday trading so we're talking about intraday trading and how you can use the vsa 360 something we will showcase to you uh, on our regular uh, trade vsa showcase so make sure you join me tonight at 9 30. the link to join it is right at the below there and uh, of course we will conclude tonight too and of course one of the usual framework that i will share on my friday session is about the investment objective or trading objective that you all have so think about you know what you want to do how much much money you want to start with what is your horizon do up the investment policy statement because that's going to be your goal in here what kind of stock you want to trade what strategy that you want to do right when do you want to buy them would you can how many bunch of them are long term and shorter term and then when do you want to sell them all right when do you want to cut loss now i think these are very important framework and if you do this well i do think that even with the difficult market that you see in 2022 i think you can still make some decent good return if you do the right thing opportunity is there just like what we've seen with revenue and d sonic uh, which are already turned green but will they move higher yet to be seen with this market currently because the klcr right now is in the uh, red pentagon in here all right, now uh, we're going to come down to the segment where we'll be uh, looking into your share. Now, if you have a couple of any shares that you want me to look at, feel free to put it in there and I'll be happy to look at them. All right. And also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and our Telegram chat room in here. All right. So any stocks that you want me to uh, look at or any queries of any uh, stocks, do let me know. I'm happy to look into it using our VSA 360 in here. Okay. So let's look at, because Hong Leong Bank. So Hong Leong Bank right now, if you see this. Okay, we have Hong Leong Bank, that's about 18.20, already hit the target. Right now it's $19, that is 30th of November. So we hit the, the target in here. Maybe that's why it's going through this process of uh, taking profit, okay? And uh, you got the first target profit is $20, which is a 4% away, and stop loss is about 19, okay? All right, uh, another stocks that a lot of people have is UWC. Right, you can see UWC is fall, right? And if you have got off from the ATR stop loss, you could avoid some of these. But then again, in the longer run, I do think that uh, this stock may pick me up if you want to. You need, just need to wait for the red pentagon. But right now, it is trading below the ATR stop loss. Just take note of this one in here, okay? Now, if you have any stocks, just pencil in here. If not, this is where I would uh, close off. And I hope to see you tonight at 9.30. That's right. Hope 9.30 tonight. And uh, this is where a chance for me to showcase with you how you can use intraday trading 
to help you for those of you who are looking for supplementing a little bit of income using the VSA 360. I'll see you tonight at 9.30. And thank you for your time. We appreciate your support so far. Thank you.